Hi, we are from At Home Tuition. In this video, we are going to see few examples on how to find the missing numbers in the given various pattern of numbers. So, let us see the first question. Find the missing numbers. Look at the number patterns. Write the missing numbers. The first question is 100, 200, 300, blank, blank, 600 and a blank. So, now let us see the given numbers first. So, given number is 100. 200 300 so now let us see what is the difference between the three numbers first okay so if you see take 300 okay then if you go for the previous number that's 200 so 300 minus 200 is 100 next if you take 200 then if you see the previous number then it's 100 so 200 minus 100 is 100 so each number is increased by 100 each number is increased in the order of 100. So now from 300, if you go to the number next number, you have to add 100. So 300 plus 100 is 400. Okay. So then if you go to the next number, then you have to add again 100 to the previous number. So 400 plus 100, you will get 500. Then they have given already 600. That is 500 will be here. So plus 100 you will get 600. Then for the next blank you have to add 100 with this 600. So 600 plus 100 is 700. So thus we can write the missing numbers as 400, 500 and 700. The second question is given a number train. Let us see what are the numbers given in the number train. So the first number given is 900. The next number given is 800. The next number given is 700. So if you observe into the number train, you can see that the numbers are in the decreasing order. Right? So 700, then you have to find what is the next number to 700. So by looking into the number itself, we can say the numbers are in decreasing order. Then we will say how many number it is decreasing. So 900, 800, 700. So it is decreasing in the order of so, we can easily write from 700 if you decrease, that is if you subtract 100, you will get 600. So, 700 minus 100 is 600. So, 600 is the number next to 700. Then from 600, you have to decrease 100, that is you have to subtract 100. So, 600 minus 100 is 500. Okay, so the next number they have given 400. We can check our answer also. So here we have written 500. So 500 minus 100 will be 400. So our answer is correct. So then next we want to find the next number. So now we have to again decrease 100 from 400. That's 400 minus 100 is 300. So thus the missing numbers in the train are 600, 500 and 300. The next number pattern given is 50, 100, 150, 200. So first if you look into the numbers, we can say that the numbers are in increasing order. Now we want to find how much it is increasing. So now 50, 100, 150, 200. So if you find out the difference, each number is increased by 50. So now for finding the next missing number, you have to add 50 to the previous number. So the previous number is 200. If you add 50 to 200, you will get 250. That is in the first blank. Then if you add 50 to 250, you will get 250 plus 50 is 300. Then for the next blank, you have to add 50 with this 300. So 300 plus 50 is 350. Then to find the number in the last blank, you have to add 50 with 350. So 350 plus 50 is 400. So thus the missing numbers in the blank are 250, 300, 350 and 400. Now let us see the next pattern given. So the first number is 300, next number is 250, and the next number is 200. So if you look into the number, we can say that the number is decreasing because 300, 250, then again 200. So the number is in decreasing order. Now we will see how much it is decreasing. So it is 302. 250. So, 300 minus 250 is minus 50. Okay. So, it is decreasing in the order of 50. 
it's decreasing in the order of 50. So to find the next number we want to decrease that is we want to subtract 50 from the previous number. So the previous number to the first blank is 200. So we want to subtract 50 from 200. So 200 minus 50 is 150. So 150 is in the first blank. Then next we want to again decrease 50. That is we want to again subtract 50. So 150 minus 50 is 100. So for to find the last number we want to again subtract 50 from 100. So 100 minus 50 is 50. So the missing numbers are 150, 100 and 50. The next pattern given is dash 25, 35, da 45, dash dash so they have given with three numbers 25 35 45 so if you see the three given numbers they are all in increasing order and if it is increased by 10 because 25 to 35 if you add 10 you will get 35 so if you add 10 with 35 you will get 45 so it is in the increasing order it is increasing in the order of 10 okay so now we want to find the first number so first number you cannot add okay so it's in the decreasing order so now we want to subtract subtract 10 from this 25 so 25 minus 10 is 15 so first blank it's 15 okay so now we'll move on to the next blank so now it's next to 45 so now here it will be in the increasing order now you want to add 10 to 45 so 45 plus 10 is 55 so and for the next number you want to add again 10 to the previous number so 55 plus 10 is 65 so thus the missing numbers are 15, 55 and 65. Let's see the next pattern. So the given numbers are 208, 260, 240. So if you see all the three numbers, it is in the decreasing order because 280, 260, 240. So the number is reducing. So now we will see how much it is reducing. So one way to find how much it is reducing is, so if you take the number 240, if you move to the number previous number 260, so 240 to 260 the difference is 20. Now if you see 260 and 280 the difference is 20. So it is decreasing in the order of 20. So to find the next number you want to subtract subtract 20 from the previous number so now for the first blank if you take the previous number 240 subtract 20 so 240 minus 20 is 220 to find the number in the next blank again you want to subtract 20 so 220 minus 20 is 200 to find the next blank you subtract 20 from 200 so 200 minus 20 is 180 and to find the last number again you want to subtract 20 from the previous number so 180 minus 20 is 160 so thus the missing numbers are 220 200 180 and 160 now let's see one more pattern so the given numbers are 125 150 175 200 blank 250 blank blank so you want to find all these three missing patterns so now if you observe the pattern all the pattern is in increasing order and if we'll see how much it is increasing so if you see the difference 150 and 125 it's 25 then 150 and 175 again it's 25 then 175 and 200 again it's 25 so it's increasing in the order of 25 so to find the first missing number you have to add 25 to the previous number 200 so 200 plus 25 is 225 so you can check this is correct so 225 plus 25 you will get 250 so it's correct so now we'll go for the next number so you want to add 25 to this 250 so 250 plus 25 you will get 275 then to find the last missing number you have to add 25 to 275 so 275 plus 25 is 300 so missing numbers are 225 275 and 300 Hope you have understood how to find the missing numbers in the given various patterns comparing to the given numbers. Thank you for watching the video.